afternoon, viewers, and welcome to another edition of Saturday Sports on NCBN Television. We are every Saturday evening at 8 p.m. where we talk sports. Uh, tonight, we're going to be doing a bit of a recap on the T20 World Cup cricket that concluded a, a couple of weeks back. And we're also going to talk a bit about the selection of the test team that is currently in England right now to start that um, three-match uh, test series. My guest tonight is Mr. Balet Mahaber, and uh, the right person to discuss cricket, former uh, board member of the West Indies Cricket Board, and also the president of Clarkwood Sports Club. Yes, sir. Right. As I say, they're mixed up with the cricket. Welcome, and it's a pleasure. Yeah, my right, pleasure to be here. To have you. Well, the last time we spoke it was just before the, the World Cup. Yes, we did. And um, one of your predictions nearly come true. You were rooting for Afghanistan. And Australia. Man. And Australia, yeah. right? But let's start with the West Indies team. Were you satisfied with the outcome of where we reach and how we perform? Not satisfied, but I didn't expect us to do better than that. Mm -hmm. um, so I think they played to their potential and they ended up just where the quality of the team allowed them to be. They were never up with the top four teams mm -hmm. um, and I didn't see them getting... Although we had that winning streak. Well, the winning streak um, is, is a little bit false because we struggled to beat New Zealand. Thanks to good in from Rutherford. Right. Um, we then beat two minnows, uh, not convincingly. Uh, Papua New Guinea yeah. and Uganda. And the Afghan game was a dead rubber because mm -hmm. both teams are qualified. Yes. So I didn't take away much um, in terms of the quality of the, the game into the Super 8s. Um, Alzari was bowling well. Um, for me, a little bit surprisingly. Um, Nicholas was batting well, which mm -hmm. we expected. Yeah. Um, some of the bits and pieces players, Rustin Chase was having a good tournament. Um, Gurakesh Moti was having a good tournament. So some of the guys were stepping up their game. Um, so, yeah, I expected us to get into the Super 8s, but we only beat USA in the Super 8s, which is, which is our standard. Mm -hmm. So I think we got, we, we reached where, where our quality deserved. And the good part of it is that we now qualified for the next World Cup without going through playoffs. Right, so right. that the planning for the next T20 World Cup could start now. Mm -hmm. So I would give them... I would give West Indies a pass mark, actually. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think they did reasonably well mm -hmm. as players. I would fail the technical team, but we could talk a little bit more about that. Right. Uh, let, let, let's talk a bit about, about the captaincy. Do you think that Powell did justice to being the skipper of the team? No. I supported him prior to the World Cup. But the, the question you ask is whether he did justice to the team, the short answer is no. Mm -hmm. I don't think he was nimble enough. I don't think he was alert enough. I don't think he was well briefed. Um, I don't think he was, you know, um, well, his strategies as outlined to him to operate were good ones. Mm -hmm. And as a result, we were found one thing. We, we seem concretized in our ideas mm -hmm. that Akil Hussein must open the bowling. And, you know, we, we, we were not innovative. We, we didn't at times, Rust and Chase should have bowled earlier at times. We wasn't, so, wasn't trying the different. Yeah. Yeah we, we, yeah, we 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 were not agile. We were not nimble in our thinking. And he, mm. he went out there almost like uh, some notes in, in a paper in his back pocket and he, he just stuck to the notes. And that cost us. You see, um, even the batting order, Nicholas was, Puran was going in at number three, whether we lost a wicket in the first over, we lost a wicket in the fifth over. And I thought that that, that hampered the team in, in, in the way we played. So, no, I would fail the captaincy. And let's go now to the backroom staff because that is where decisions are made and plans are implemented with the coach and the people behind there. Well, for me, that is a big failure. They, they, they mm. fail. They fail miserably. Uh, up, up at the top, when Brandon King was doing well, we had Johnson Charles eating up balls on the other end. Mm. I thought, I'd said that before, that I thought Kyle Myers would have been a better fit. But having Charles there... I saw the need at, at times that probably leave Charles out and play Hetmeyer at the top of the order. Given yeah, the same rule. Hetmeyer didn't get a game at all. He didn't get a game at all. The same left hander. Mm -hmm. um, and then I, I also saw if we lost the early wicket, somebody should have gone in 
publish, I hope, and leave Puran a little bit to bat from the fifth, sixth over all the way through the innings. When Puran goes in on the first and second over, he didn't, he seemed confused to me whether he was going to anchor the innings yeah. or whether he was going to make runs. Please, natural game. Case in point was the England game where he tried to play out Adil Rashid because he knew that Rashid would give the other batsmen trouble. Mm -hmm. Playing out Adil Rashid to me was a negative. We lost the game. He should have taken him on. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, but then he'd again knock from every quarter for knowing that Rashid will bowl out the team. So we left the young man in a conundrum of whether to be the attacking Puran or to be the, 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 the holding Puran. All those things to me um, left a lot to be desired in the think tank. Um, having said that, our bowlers bowl well whenever they were given the ball, um, they bowl well. Uh, we were not nimble enough, we kept bowling our heel two and three overs in the power play where sometimes the team planned for that. We should have done something a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Given the fact that he was bowling well, Moti bowled well in the middle of the yeah. innings. Chase was a revelation in the tournament, batting and bowling. Yeah, I was never a Chase fan, but he proved me wrong in this. Um, in the, yes, he did. And game. Alzari, mm -hmm. I think the pitches help Alzari. So uh, uh, my jury, he bowled well, but my jury is still out. I want to see some more of Alzari in England. Um, so we could, having said that, the pitches now allowed yeah. Alzari to bowl well. Mm. The pitches were up and down. So if you hit the ball at the back of a length, like the New Zealand game, you don't know if the ball going to fly over your head or it's going and keep low. And Alzari was hitting some hard lengths on bad pitches and he was hitting quick. So he was difficult to play. Mm. As a result, he got 12, 11 or 12 wickets or something like that. But he had a good tournament, you know. Um, Romario Shepard had a, had a poor tournament. The skipper had a poor tournament. Um, Russell um, flattered to deceive. He showed signs of brilliance, but he never played a match-winning knock or, or a match-winning spell mm -hmm. for the team, you know. Um, so, but um, the, 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 so the think tank didn't really use the resources mm -hmm. that they had at their disposal. Go away, what you're saying is true because most of our games, even with the lower-ranked teams, the Uganda and Papua New Guinea. We lost, we lost the wickets, we lose at least four to five wickets, right? And we really didn't really score. You know, people were, I was expecting them us to, to make runs on Papua New Guinea and, and um, Uganda because those are two of the associate teams. Yeah. And I say they're not in our standard, right? But we lost at least five, four to five wickets. The only saving grace there that we were playing them on bad pitches, huh? Yeah. The, the pitches were not very good. Take, take away St. Lucia, which I understand is the only pitch that was not relayed in the Caribbean. Mm. Um, the pitch in Texas, which played brilliantly, and to a lesser extent, the pitch in Barbados. All the other pitches were substandard. Guyana, Trinidad, New York, St. Vincent, um, they were all substandard pitches. But the, the pitch in, 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 in Texas, that's a new relayed pitch. No, the pit, the pit, they played MLS on our pitch last year. And if you have been MLC, mm. if you have been looking at the MLC this year, they continue to make big yeah, runs yeah, yeah, on yeah, that pitch. Yeah, yeah. 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 So it looks... It but looks it's, it's fairly new in comparison to what we have in the, in, in, in the Caribbean, right? Well, a pitch takes about a year to settle down. Okay. okay. Right? They should know that. Mm -hmm. So you don't relay a pitch within a year of a World Cup. Okay. And then the ICC or whoever messed up by saying, don't play on the pitch. If you, if you don't play on the pitch, how you know how the pitch playing? What, what, okay. what, what testing regimen they did to know that these pitches are going to play well? Mm -hmm. The proof of the pudding is in the eating. So I, I don't understand why they uh, not ball the pitches, or why they relay the pitches. Um, you know, I have a little idea there that about pitches. I am of the view that local curators have local knowledge about the local soils. Right. They work those pitches for 365 days a year. And now they are taking orders from a, a West Indian supervisor who is based in St. Lucia and an ICC supervisor who is based wherever. The, to me, the guys know when to roll, when to water, when to, um, you know, they know the pitch, they know the soil, it's, it's agriculture. Mm -hmm. And I feel that they were not given the opportunity to input. And that is why St. Lucia played better. Crafton is from St. Lucia. He knows the pitch. He, they, these fellas got a feel of the pitch. Outside of testing, they know when they should roll, when they should water, when they should cut, mm -hmm. you know, or when they should take off the covers, when they should cover. Mm -hmm. And I think that they were superseded by external, external uh, influences. And, and as a result, the pitches looked horrible. Who would you say was the biggest disappointment in the entire um, tournament? 
in terms of the teams? Yeah. That's a very good question. England was a disappointment for me. Australia was a disappointment. I mean, as, as, the, as the... Yeah, um, defending champion. Defending champion, yes. Yeah, Australia didn't, didn't really show up to the party. Mm. Um, those two, those two big names, yeah. Those two big names, you didn't expect them to go out early. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, and the surprise of the tournament for me outside of Afghanistan was the way India... I said here that I didn't expect India to, 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 to get to the final, but India showed that professionalism trumped personal relationships, right? Yes. The, there was this conflict between Pandya and, and Rohit. Coming out from the IPL. Coming out from the IPL. Yeah. But they are professionals yes. and they didn't let personalities get in the way. Mm -hmm. And with a coach like, a, a respected coach like Dravid mm -hmm. and the people around him, it seems that they were able to use the professionalism of the team mm -hmm. to to overcome mm -hmm. the adversity. Put, put whatever differences put at the, uh, you know, behind them. I don't know if you saw this article where um, Dravid said that he wanted to give up some time ago and the best call he got was from Rohit Sharma who no, told him yeah, yeah. yeah who told him that he should not give up yeah. and that he should stay until the World Cup. Now he said that was the best call he got. Now when you have that chemistry between a yes. captain and a coach yes. and the, all the other players in the team mm -hmm. know that the captain has the backing of the coach there's only one there's only one winner yeah. uh, and I commend in there. I commend in there for their professionalism mm -hmm. the way that they were able to put aside whatever differences they may have had, real or imagined. Mm -hmm. The way Kohli was struggling and buckled down in the final to win the game with an excellent inning. Yeah, because he, he really had no, no, he didn't do too well in the previous games. Then. Well, in my humble opinion, he was batting out of context mm -hmm. because he should not have been opening. Again, right. you know, it's that Jaiswal who is an excellent opener, mm -hmm. who should have probably opened the bat and drop, drop Kohli one, one spot down and leave Dubai out. Mm -hmm. But who are we? They know, yeah. they yes. know, they yes. know what is best for them. Mm -hmm. And, and as good players, he came to the party in the final. At the right time. Yeah. yeah. And, and he won them the World Cup. Mm -hmm. You know, so I take my hat off to them, the team, the management, the way they play, the way they prepare, the unbeat, they played unbeaten. They managed with staring defeat in the face with yes. 30 runs to go in 30 balls with six wickets. They were able to come back and win the game comfortably. Yeah. Um, hallmark of a champion, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I take my hat off to India. I didn't expect them to win. Mm -hmm. But it shows that personality... Um, personalities, if, if a team is well managed, personalities mean nothing. You know, the, the professionalism of the of the unit won out in the end. So, some people enhance their reputation. Now we have people moving on. Kohli, Sharma, um, Dreyras, mm -hmm. they have all said that they... His last, yeah. 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 What, 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 what was your view on the performance of the American team? Good. Um, good but frightening for me. Um, the interest in, in U.S. cricket, I, I think I sent you a post that I put that yes. date down when they beat Pakistan mm -hmm. to November 19, 1989, yes. when they beat Trinidad in football. Mm -hmm. There was there has been no turning back from, from, since, then. from since then in their yes. soccer. Yeah. And there will be no turning back in their mm -hmm. cricket. There will be none. The, it, Do you see them recruiting players from the Caribbean? To if, strengthen their team. If the players are good enough, they will. But remember, when you look at what is happening now, you see New Zealanders gravitating there. You see South Africans gravitating there. You see Liam Plunkett yes. um, playing there. And I, there is a land of opportunity. And I see young cricketers. And just remember that the management of the team is by and large Indian and, the, and the, 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 they are the resources of the team. Mm -hmm. So I, if the West Indians get there early, and could stamp their class on the game, they have a chance. Um, else you're going to be um, dominated by good cricketers from the other areas of the world yeah. who can't get into their, to their, own, to their own teams. You know? mm -hmm. like, I don't know if you see a fella called Corny dry bowling. Um, Umuk Chan couldn't make the team. Yeah, yes. Right? And, yes. You know, so are, I am looking at some of the ML, MLC because it's 8 30 at night. Nice time to watch cricket. Yeah, I think they have two games now 3 30 and 8 30. Yeah, and they have some really good cricketers. Yes. And yes. when you look at the, um, the resources in the US in terms of getting sponsorship, when you look at the quality of the infrastructure, when you look at the ease of moving around players, we had issues with flights delaying here and logistics of getting... Well, well, that's what I wanted to ask you. Um, before, I, before I jumped at that, I wanted to mention to you, did you see the catch in the, um, in the Major League Cricket here that the guy from the States pull off 
um, in the game, I think it was LA Knight Riders. This week here. Deron Davis? Yes. You know the Deron is Trinidadian? Yes. Okay. Well, I didn't know that until this week here. Deron played for Clark Road. You see? He, 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 he played for West Indies on a 19 while he was at Clark Road. You see? He played for Trinidad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he now lives in, I think he's in Boston. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I didn't see the catch, but I know Deron. Yeah, but great. That's great. He's a good left arm spinner. Yes. He, he, he hasn't gotten a ball yet mm. because they have Saki Bal Hassan on the yeah, team. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. they're on his trainer, yeah. Mm, yeah. So, but before before I, I uh, we had just about two minutes um, before the first break, you were mentioning about the logistics. Yeah, it seems we still can't get the logistics of moving people around the Caribbean, right? Mm. Um, you know, the Afghan team was stuck for hours in the airport, and we read more and more of that during the tournament where teams were stuck in the airport, awaiting flights and awaiting. Um, you know, you can't, you, that should never happen in a World Cup. It, it shouldn't happen with the elite cricketers. And if we can't get that right and get our pitches right, I don't see how we could be hosting a World Championship of anything in, in cricket in the near future. So do you think that um, the way the pitches were, were prepared and how, we were, how, how it played, do you see us not getting a, a World Cup maybe in, in the near future until we can get that part of Yeah, until we could fix that. Remember, we have aging infrastructure. The Oval is a struggle. Mm -hmm. It's not the best place in the world to watch cricket from. Brian Lara is a fairly new venue. Mm -hmm. Some of the criticisms that those to replace screens are too small and one replace screen is not going to cut it. Mm -hmm. um, there are other things that happen during the game. From the time the man bowl and the wicketkeeper collect the ball, the music was loud, loud, yes. loud, yes. loud. Yes, yes. Until I, I thought they would have address that in you know. until the, the, for the start of bowl any music went down so if you went to cricket to look at cricket with a friend to discuss the game yeah, you couldn't yeah, say yeah, anything yeah. i think i think what, what what has happened with cricket now it's the, the party has come in the biggest party in sport yeah that it it, it tends to to be more than what we want in any cricket now i know that we have to take a break now but when we come back we'll continue the, the discussion but somehow I find that, it, I agree with you, that when I over finish, you can get the chance to swell. You see what? It, it's, you know? Yeah. But we'll discuss that when we get back. Viewers, you are looking at Saturday Sports on NCBN TV television. We'll be right back after this short break. Change our TV to the sound wave and stay calm, be cool. Wednesday at 8 p.m. on NCBN-TT Television Network. Hi, I am Nigel. Quote Me Today is your daily motivational segment. To start your day right, join me Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. right here on NCBN. Remember, wake up with a smile. Today is your day.
<laughs> when I come back to Lesbos, I come back to Saturday sports. Um, before we took the break, we were discussing what is happening in the, in, in, in the sport, actually. Right? Now, when we look back at everything that's said and done, to me, people tend to support, go to sports now for the excitement and the rivalry and all, all this other thing. But when you look at the sports, that is why I could sit down and say, I didn't like, and you will agree with me that there are things that happened with the West Indies team that we didn't like. But it had people will say that was the best performance. And it, it, but yes, it was a good performance to a point. But a lot of mistakes were made. Right? When you from where you sit now, what are some of the things that if you was in the position of the coach or the backroom staff, you would have implemented for this for, for this this um this tournament? Surely, if, on the team, we don't want the team, surely we would have a left and right opening combination. That is, that is for starters. Mm -hmm. Two, that Puran's position between three and four would have been mm -hmm. flexible. Um, and then I would have been more nimble and tried to outthink the opposition and where we change bowlers, how we bat, definitely reduce the, the dot balls. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was a horrible Yeah, week. because... 59 and I think 51. And 51. That is close to 10 overs in a 20 overs game. We have to run better between the, mm -hmm. the wickets, you know. So we had so many little things that we didn't fix. That's why I said we played up to our potential. We have never been a good runners between the wickets. So the fitness standards of the West Indies team must raise, right? Um, the, the, uh, uh, so I, as I said, the word I use is concretized. It seemed that Sami and his team had a set. Uh, a playbook mm -hmm. and they tried not to deviate from that and that mm -hmm. failed us mm -hmm. uh, whereas the other teams were more nimble they were more agile they were more flexible look at India moving Aksa Patel around and doing it successfully yes. to protect the lower order batsmen um, they sometimes bowlers were bowling one over spells you know that because now once you get once they, they pick up a, a bowler line and length the next over could disappear for many like mm -hmm. we saw with Romario Shepard mm -hmm. so um, we, we were too, we were too slow in our thinking, too set in our ways, too many dot balls. Mm -hmm. um, so we really can't challenge. We really mm -hmm. can't challenge the better teams um, with that. And then our batting, I said before, we have two world class players, Puran and, and Russell. And one or two of the guys are moving up the ranks. As we both agree mm -hmm. that Chase had an excellent tournament. Yes, and yes. Zari had a good tournament. Mm -hmm. Godakesh Moti had a good mm -hmm. tournament. Mm -hmm. Akil had a good tournament. Mm -hmm. But when you look at the IPL, which is the best franchise in the world, Akil is, does, is not there. Mm -hmm. Moti is not there. You know, Al Alzari is a fringe player. Shama Joseph got one game. So mm -hmm. we, 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 we're not up with, with where the air is rare. Would you have played Shama Joseph in any of those games? Do I would have. Do, I, do, I, do you think the wicket would have? You know. Yes, the bad pitch is once he bowled at hard length, if Alzari was getting wickets, he would have gotten wickets. Mm -hmm. Now, one could understand the management not giving him um, some outlet because he and Alzari would have been doing basically the same thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, they, they went for a little bit of a variation there. And I don't know, you can't bowl those hard lengths alone in T20 cricket on good pitches. Mm -hmm. You'll get carted. You yeah. have to have variation. Mm -hmm. And he has to learn the, art, the, the variation like Obed. Obed has variation, you know, well, the, the, the man with the variation who make it is Bravo, you mm -hmm. know. Um, so you, you needed that kind of variation. You can't bowl the same thing all the time. But Alzari got away with it, as I said, because we were playing on bad pitches, mm -hmm. you know. Any of the players who didn't play, would you have given them the opportunity? For instance, Sharma, we know about Sharma. I would have played Edmire. Uh, Edmire, in, in place of? I'm um, Johnson Charles at the top. Mm -hmm. Definitely, I would have played that mile. He has more exposure. He's a left-handed batsman. Um, mm -hmm. he, he he will play cameos for you. He will bat 15 balls and make 25 runs mm -hmm. instead of eating up b balls at the top like like Johnson Charles. Johnson Charles is not a, to the standard of, of the elite level of cricketer. He's a lucky man. Um, my thing is that people don't pick themselves when they pick. They try when pick. They try to do the best that they could do. So he didn't pick himself. He was picked by the selectors and. He tried, but he, he will never cut it at that level. Mm -hmm. Mind you, he's, I think, a twice World Cup winner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, 
But so we, we started off on the wrong foot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The current bunch of players we have right now, right? And before we blink, another World Cup will be coming. What do you think is needed for us to go that one step further? The Caribbean should concentrate on white ball cricket. It's as plain and simple as that. We do not have the depth to concentrate on red ball and white ball. We should flip the we should flip the the script and concentrate on red ball. I'm sorry, concentrate on white ball cricket. Play 50 over cricket more mm -hmm. and play T20 cricket more. Mm -hmm. I don't see a good young player outside of whom we know that could set the world alight in T20. I am not seeing an ex Pollard, an ex Bravo, an ex Narine, an ex Puran, an ex Russell, an ex Gale. I'm not seeing <laughs> you know, an ex Badri. That same thing you're saying there. I was talking to somebody recently and I was saying when Narine retires, he leaving a legacy behind. Yeah. Pollard, Bravo, Gale, for a lesser extent, Lara. Who are the current group of players right now that we can, well, and Puranta, we can add Puranta to, to, to that. But who are the current players right now, as you say, could set the world on fire right now or create that impact that these guys <laughs> created? Well, you have to ask the powers that be that. I don't know if they're not seeing that they, 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 they keep talking about we have so much talent and we have so much depth. Mm -hmm. And if you see now, Miles Bascom is talking about doing away with the selection selectors and putting a, a cricket manager and a coach and they will pick the team. Um, I don't know how that will work. But yeah, because um, we had touched on Grenades and, and Brom Gone. Uh, Haynes. Haynes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know how they, how they intend to do that, but um, I don't see the, the, the question you're asking is the talent. I don't see the talent in the Caribbean, in T20 cricket. I don't see the world beaters. Akil Hussein will be there for our next World Cup. Mm -hmm. um, Alzari should be there. Gurakesh Moti should still be there. Mm -hmm. Brandon King, Shea Hope, mm -hmm. Nicholas Puran. So the next World Cup, we should be fairly competitive. Mm -hmm. Right, they will have two years ahead of, the, ahead of them, and I see they're not playing red ball cricket, so they have decided to go down the white ball route. Mm -hmm. Kyle Myers. Mm -hmm. So if we get the next World Cup out of them, we should be fairly competitive in that one. But look beyond that. That's two years down the road in India. Look, let's look beyond that. When all these fellas out of the mix, where, where the talent coming from? We can't produce. We can't seem to produce a leg spinner since Badri. Um, Chase would be out by then. Right, so we're in a close. So we have two left arm orthodox. Um, and we still have this old thinking that we have to play plenty red ball cricket. I, I, for, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. At the formative years, up to 19, we should be playing a lot of red ball cricket. Get the basics right. And then afterwards, we should concentrate on, um, on, on white ball. 15. But there, there must be something that is preventing us from reaching that point? No development plans. No development plans, one. And from the time a guy gets um, into a little bit of money, they tend to look in a different direction. I, I suspect that there's a lack of trust in the Caribbean system. And I, I say that based on Hetmeyer. Hetmeyer doesn't seem too interested. Good, good talent. Yeah, doesn't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't seem too interested in playing for the West Indies, mm -hmm. right? Um, I wonder where Alzari Joseph will go. I wonder where Shama Joseph will go. If they if they were to pick up a seven hundred and fifty thousand US contract like what Puran will Puran them pass that by plenty. Mm -hmm. um, if if the loyalty will still be to the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. You know, you look at the test team and you wonder why is Myers not in England? Why is Shy Hope not in England? Why is Brandon King not in England? Right? Uh, and <laughs> we we still discuss that yet, but I, I I I agree with you. Right? Because some of the names that I see there I want to know what sort of experience they have playing in England conditions. You know, yeah. they, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't. I, I don't know how we're going to perform. Yeah, I know. We, 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 went expecting to be battered in in Australia, mm -hmm. and we, 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 we came we, out decent in that yeah, series. Yeah. Um, so fingers crossed that we might discover another Shama Joseph somewhere along the line. I don't hold much hope out, then, to be honest. Um, 
but I, I wonder why these guys are not in the West Indies. And we get no statement saying mm -hmm. that Myers is unavailable, Hope is unavailable. Mm -hmm. You know, we, 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 we just left in the dark to speculate mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on what is the situation with these fellas. So um, we need some more communication. We need to know why. If they, if they say they're not available, tell us that these guys are not available. Mm -hmm. You know. But, uh, okay, we know for a fact with Narayan. Narayan wasn't treated right by the West Indies border control. Mm. He himself made the Trinidad and Tobago cricket board. We know that. That is why he decided he stayed with take care. Take care because yeah. they are the ones who, when he was going through his, his board in action, they saw, saw him when he had the injuries, whatever, whatever, whatever it is. Right? But when you look at the other players, and as you said just now, if Azari and Sharma and them pull a 750,000 US, you don't know where they're going. No. Right? Because you're not really getting the support in West Indies cricket. It's like the football. Right? Where we're hoping to see a change now with the new with the new with the new president. Right? But since even said when Lara was there, you heard grumblings in the back, you know, the West Indies border control, they're not doing this, they're not doing that. So Players are getting frustrated, right? So sometimes when you see people criticize um, Narayan, they're still doing it. But do they try to investigate and find out why he gets like that? Well, we have multiple opportunities. Um, things like Archer, Jofra Archer was in the West Indies on a 19 setup. Yes. Um, we have... Um, Jordan was in the West Indies. He played for Barbados in mm -hmm. the regional tournament. Mm -hmm. We have well, the Bajan boys tend to gravitate towards England. They have Arthur Bethel, grandson, now who is playing in, in England for in, yeah. in the English setup. Uh, I think they are better treated and in, in, uh, more professional. Um, I'll call two names. Cottrell, 2019 World Cup, had a good World Cup in England, got a million dollars in IPL, and Cottrell disappeared. Odin Smith got 800 odd thousand dollars one year. Mm -hmm. We don't even know if Odin Smith. Play we're, cricket. We're, yeah, we're not here, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, Odin should be mm -hmm. only about 25, 26. Mm -hmm. Fabian Allen is one who. Fabian Allen, yeah. Is, yeah. So, you know, Rutherford came back into the fold only just before the World Cup. He, he was outside um, playing his trade. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know, um, you know if they have conversations with these players. And I would, if, you know, if I had something to do with it, I would have report these conversations to the public and say, well, mm -hmm. we met with Kyle Myers and we met with She Hope and so on and mm -hmm. so on. And this is where the, what they said. So, mm -hmm. we have to move on. Mm -hmm. But I would really like to see an academy. I am supporting the academy, Mumbai Indians Academy in Trinidad. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully, some professionalism will kick in and then we we'll start mm -hmm. to produce some good players. It might be the saving grace for West Indies cricket. You Okay, we need, to, we need to take a break, but when we come back, I want to talk um, to you about you were on the West Indian Cricket Board as a director. Yes. Right? Do they take advice? Oh, we have about five minutes, sorry. We have about five minutes, so yeah. Do they take, you okay. know, advice in the sense of when they hear the players have grievances and things, do they address it promptly? You know, we know they didn't address Narayan. Yeah. Probably. Well, we had issues with Gail as well when I was there. The cricket committee mm -hmm. normally is the one who would bring the cricket matters to the board. Right. So you have competencies in finance and the finance committee will report on finance. The marketing committee will report on marketing. Mm -hmm. The cricket committee will report on cricket matters and they, they generally advise the board on, their, on the direction they should mm -hmm. go. It used to be well stocked with past cricketers. Um, I know um, that one time there was a stipulation that you could only serve on the cricket committee if you played first class cricket. I think they have removed that and anybody and anybody serving on the cricket committee who are not competent. So I don't know where's the quality of advice. Now, I like to describe the West Indies Cricket Board even if I, when I was there as um, one where it's still colonial in thinking. Mm -hmm. Anybody who sat at the head and during my time, they looked down on the territorial boards and they sort of they sort of lord it over the people without getting it wasn't a kind of servant leadership. It was a kind of top down leadership. And they don't really get their hands dirty to understand what is happening in the territory. So they they sit in this glorified air, which they think is glorified, and the, the tree, the structure rotting below them, but they, they don't care. And that continues up to today. 
there's very little care, you know, what happened. Where, where's our development plan? Where's cricket in Jamaica? Um, you know, it's Barbados, Guyana, and Trinidad who are carrying West Indies cricket. I was in San Martin earlier this year. Remarkable talent. One ground. One ground. But the people have a passion for cricket, driven by Na the former owner of Najiko, um, Imran Maksud. Mm -hmm. who you sat on the board for a while. Remarkable talent. I wonder where they where, where the outlet for these guys. Now they have to play for Leewards. Um, Joel Andrews, that name you remember that name, he came out of that and there's another guy, Nathan Edwards, good young player. Mm -hmm. um, they have some, I saw, saw it, they came out a day and were practicing some remarkable talent. So there are little nuggets, there are little pockets of growth. Mm -hmm. Barbados is still strong in cricket, but they're not adapting to the white ball. They're okay. still traditional in the thinking. Mm -hmm. Cricket is vibrantly dead in Jamaica. Okay. Um, they're not much. So they didn't get any um, money, um, World Cup They didn't bid. They didn't bid. Yeah, and that's another story. They obviously have put their eggs in the basket of track and field, football and netball. Mm -hmm. And they're going and put money into cricket when cricket and bringing anything back to them. They, they, they're known world over for track and field. Yeah, yeah. The football team is the best in the English speaking Caribbean. And the netball is the best in the English speaking Caribbean. Mm -hmm. So, why put money into a fringe sport? So, that's how I see it. I, um, and they, 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 they're not the richest country in the Caribbean. So, mm -hmm. they use their resources wisely and they, they, they opt out of the World Cup. But they, they don't have a strong cricket culture anymore. They don't. Hmm. Well, we're going to take a final break for this evening. And when we come back, we're going to talk a bit about on the team that is in England right now and are they the right players and how will they face in English conditions. We will be right back after this short break. Hi, I am Nigel Coutier. Hi, I'm Jemima Joseph. And I'm Jovan Paulette. We are coming to a community near you. We're going to speak community, community talk. We want to hear your issues, your concerns, or what will improve your community. Look out for us. We'll be coming soon, Nigel and myself, to your community to hear in whatever way we can do to improve your environment, be it employment, infrastructure, anything to improve your living as well as our own. Catch us on NCDN TV television for Community Talk. I'm Steve David, and I'm your host. Today I talk football as usual, and I have with me Linda Bramble, welcome to the set, man. Michael Ragnar, welcome to the set. He said George Jefferson, George Anthony Clark, welcome to the set. That's Dwight Gerion. The president of the SSFL, Mariri Gonzalez. Mariri, welcome to the set. Leroy Gerion, welcome to the set, Leroy. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you for tuning in every Tuesday night, and, and NCBNPT, thanks for the opportunity. Maybe we are Santa, but for the shall be with brother. Before you could say Raja, but look at the way the and it's still gonna be complaining. There's no chance for sitting. Everybody giving comments, and we cussing the government. But it's we who throw rubbish on the street. It's we who does litter up.
Saturday Sports and NCBN. So, man, we're, we're going from T20 now to Test Cricket, right? They and all, we have fallen a bit, right? Recently, we're coming off of the series in Australia. We kind of get back some, some life. Now, we are off to England where conditions are completely different, yeah. right? Let's start with the selection of the team. Who are the players that you figure should have been there? And who are some of the players who you feel going to struggle in, in that condition? Everybody will struggle. All the batsmen will struggle. Um, because they don't have the experience in the UK. It's as simple as that. Even Craig Braffitt, who is a little bit um, outdated now. Mm. Um, I was happy to see Chandler Paul not in the team, young Chandler Paul, because they had blocked the life out of you. He, um, him and Craig Braffitt. But he has negative. feel, after coming on so strong, yeah, he has really, his batting has really declined. Yes, so you want to see that the days of that cricket gone through with Amos and Boycott and that kind of blocking. Mm -hmm. You want people who play the game a lot more aggressively. Mm -hmm. So I would have liked to see Brandon King in the team. I would have liked to see Kyle Myers in the team. I would have liked to see Shea Hope. Shea Hope have two hundreds in a test match in England. Right, um, and and you know if if they're not available, well then it's your statement why they're not. Yeah, 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 sure, yeah, sure. Right, yeah, the sure. bowling seems to be in decent hands. Jason Holder, the two, the two Josephs, mm -hmm. uh, Moti, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, but Rustan is not there neither, which yes. is inexplicable for me. Right, so they have Sinclair as the off spinner, so they seem to be in decent hands. But what happens when you have bad batting teams? The, the you, you make two hundred, the next team make five hundred. And before you know it, you're, you're back on the batting again, right? <laughs> um, and then you, you, you just spend three days chasing cock ball and you have to go and bat. So it, it, it doesn't help you. I don't know if you remember when we went to England with a good team with Sarwan and Ganga. And they, um, Sarwan got injured, Ganga captained the team. And England were piling up 500 plus and then Ganga had to run off the field to go and open the batting, you know? Yeah. Um, so, I, I, I mean, I would really like the team to do well, but I, I can't see it happening. I can't see it happening. We're playing at Lords, um, and that alone should, should lift the team and lift the performance, but it was so to, to do with England. Mm. You know, so I, I, I really don't see the team um, doing all that well in England. But England, England team too, we have, we have, we have, they have three um, on cap players on the, on, on the England team. So, yeah. they, so it, I just, um, it's looking like the England team is not all that strong either. Well, they underrate us, and you know what has happened? When once Tony Gregg said he'll make the West Indies grovel, well, he almost died. <laughs> and then uh, England came to the West Indies and they called our team, the um, Giles Clark called the team, some derogatory term, mm. we, we cut the tail. Mm. So, <laughs> the, the, yeah, these things motivate the West Indians, eh? mm. um, if you take them for granted. You see, we are, we are how you call it, uh, uh, we're not consistent in our performances, but there are days when we will come out and play like world beaters. Eh? It's almost like Pakistan have the same bug. Yeah, yeah. Pakistan is 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 is, is, a, is the brother to, to West Indies. Yeah, again. they come out on days and they would look like world beaters, and they mm -hmm. will come back the next day. And the same fella who have 120 not all look like he can bat at all. You know, mm -hmm. I don't know what it is, but um, we will get sporadic periods of good cricket. You know, we will get sporadic mm -hmm. periods of good cricket, but I don't see us having the consistency in the team and the experience in the team to, to trouble England. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and I don't see it. I don't know what the management structure is like. I think Andre Coley is the coach. Mm. Um, I know Jimmy Adams is there. Yeah, he, he's, yeah he's, a, he's a close there. And him. he has some um, experience in English conditions. Mm. I mean, Coach Kenton played a lot in England. So, um, for the youngsters, I hope that they do well and I hope that they be, be competitive and I hope some of them enhance their careers. Do you think that the, the whole West Indies board is, is, is preparing these young cricketers properly? To go to go and play this level of cricket, or they're just throwing them out there, you know, and they feel for themselves. We never have, and we never will. In in the year two thousand, when Aloy was in charge of cricket, we did a book at uh, our two thousand anniversary, and I have a long article on that about how we develop cricketers and what we were doing in Trinidad. We were coaching a hundred venues across the country, and we had a pyramid shape to bring people out of. Mm. Uh, wherever we find them, there's absolutely no pathway for a good cricketer in the Caribbean. You're left on your own. If you don't develop on your own, and then as soon as you 
don't deliver the goods in their minds as a Riz Cottrell and Odin Smith and their more oh, Hetmeyer and mm. um, this boy from Ghana who was a good cricketer. He stopped now, Johnson. Yeah, yeah. Leon Johnson. Leon Johnson. Mm -hmm. um, good cricketers who were never given the support, you know, like what young China Paul. Mm -hmm. I'm sure nobody except his dad probably working with him to get him back on our West Indies team. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't see, there, there's no structure, there's no pathway. They pick from what is available. And if you're not good enough to make the team, you're out and we, we go on with these fellas. And there's no support mechanism. So there's no academy, there's no remedial place where you could go back if George Madison develop a, a problem outside the off-stump where you could go and have yourself taped and analyzed and, and do, you know, do the rehab on your work. That's why I think, I think the Mumbai Indians Academy could be a place where that, that, that will happen. You know, um, if, if that happens, if that comes to fruition, I could see a little green, a little bit of green growth in Caribbean cricket because I think it will serve the Caribbean and not only Trinidad. But who will be in charge of that? Mumbai Indians. Yeah. So the, the Trinidad Cricket Board and Nothing to do with it. Yeah, because you know, once they lay their hands on that. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, 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 yeah. It has to be a business model, mm. right? It has to be a business model that will make money. Now, 100 million US for Mumbai Indians is pocket change. Mm -hmm. For Ambani, 100 million dollars is two years of the full budget of the West Indies Cricket Board. Mm -hmm. So you can't put our money into something like that. And we have never been good at, at development at all, at all. Trinidad has an academy that is now decrepit. Um, uh, I don't know if any of the other islands have an indoor. I know Guyana was thinking about doing something in Burbis. They're putting on a new facility there. Um, Barbados doesn't have uh, indoor as yet, I think. Jamaica, I told you where we are, mm -hmm. you know. Um, Trinidad have a number of indoor facilities, private private ones, yeah. that people go and practice in off-season. So, yeah. cricket is now a 12-month sport. So, people go and practice in the in the off-season. The, the only thing with these indoor facilities is they don't want to catch and feel and run and thing. Okay. So, they bat on the ball. Yeah, that's, that's all. Yeah. That's yeah. all. And then you see these youngsters come out there and they look, they look pretty when they're batting and you tell them chase down the ball and they're running like a girl. Mm -hmm. I mean, to be derogatory. Yeah, yeah, there's, so no yeah. there's no speed, there's no coordination. Yeah. No you know, yeah. yeah. So it, it, we have to find a way to mix both of them. You know. So this Mumbai uh, project here, uh, that has to come out based on um, the guys from Trinidad who won in the Mumbai um, team. Kyron Pollard. Pol Pollard. It was driven by Pollard. Yeah, right. So. Pollard and the Ambani family. Right. And I understand um, that the Prime Minister toured a facility there when he was in India recently. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the land is government, mm -hmm. and the government gave them the land, mm -hmm. and the investment is by Mumbai Indians. Yeah, I, think, I, think, I think that's going to be built up where the Pantron Bay go. Old, old original Pantron Bay go. Yeah, yeah, yeah up, up, that, up that, there. That's, that's up the, there. the location. And um, I, I'm hearing with all the rumblings now that they, Mumbai is also going to do one in New York. As I'm telling you, the USA is good. That's what you said there. After the 1989 World Cup, World Cup, there was no turning back for U.S. football. U.S. football is going to be the same for the cricket, you know. Well, just to stick on the football, right? look, look what Canadian football is. Brazil didn't qualify, but mm. Canada. Look at where Venezuelan football is. Yeah, yeah. No. The years now I've been telling people in football, we are stone throw from Venezuela. I don't know why we don't play Venezuela every two months. Yeah. Because their football is better than us. It's they, a higher standard. They, they yeah. fought they fought in, in, in South American grouping for World Cup qualification, you know. Yeah. Right? Um but we, we stay in our little cocoon. We can't beat the, the, the smaller islands now. We're struggling. Um, so I don't know where our football going. We touch a little bit on the Olympics. Yeah. And you, you were saying it's the worst Olympic team to leave yeah, the shores. Yeah, I, I, to be frank, I, I don't see anybody on that whole list there except Jareem. No, but there's Jareem, there's Nicholas Paul. Well, well yeah, Nicholas Paul. Nicholas and there's Paul. Dylan Carter. And, and, well, Carter and we, 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 we can go on and mention Walcott because no, no, two double you medalists. Us, you could pull a surprise. Yeah, yeah, double because medalists. This is two. Um, this is two Olympics. Yeah, right. And the chances are, you know, sometimes you know. Well, like he surprised us in the first one. He yeah, got surprised. There's things that motivate you. Yeah, that could make you go 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 yeah. the extra mile. But um, where do you see West Indies cricket heading right now? Right? Down, downwards, downwards. I, I, I what could be done to save West Indies cricket? Um, an academy set up where we could take the talent that we have mm -hmm. and make it better. But do we have the right people 
or the right coaches to do that? We hiring. Um, uh, you know my favorite example, Massey Stores. Mm -hmm. um, if if you if it's a business model that has to pay for itself, we then we are to hire the, the best coaches that we could find for development, mm -hmm. and make it um, a, a viable business model. Mm -hmm. In in sense that you sign the players for three years, and when they make money outside, a percentage of the money comes to you. You know, so you have a rolling over. If mm -hmm. the government's interested in cricket, they could sponsor the players out of the islands. Not, not that, so. So the, the, the Grenadian government would sponsor one or two players. The, you know, and we we we. we put a pathway forward where we can have 30 or 40 mm -hmm. young cricketers in training mm -hmm. um, and on a, a, a cycling them over to, to, meet, to, to fit into the gaps in the West Indies team. Rahul Dravid when India was rolled over for 52 or 30 something in, in Australia, I remember yeah. not too long ago and they came back and won the series. He said that he has six people for every spot on the Indian team. Six. That is his depth chart, right? <laughs> With our depth chart, where, where, you know, who when when one man break down, we had to go and pick somebody out of the blue. We we pick Mikel Louis as a fast bowler. Um, in Prince of Roach. In Prince of Roach. And my question yeah. is, where is Anderson Phillip? Right. And he has been doing on making the West Indies team doing well all the time. Where's Chema hold out of Barbie? Just can't pick a new man, mm -hmm. pluck him out after one good season and send him to England. You know, uh, uh, so it uh, it 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 I don't think there's any any structure. I don't think there's any pathway. I don't think there's any thinking behind how we pick teams. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say that it's political, but sometimes I I I, I feel that political influences mm -hmm. um, do have an impact on West Indies team selection. When you look at you, you some from some time to time you hear on the ground, why we don't use the former greats, the Ambrose, the Walsh, the Son and the Dow. Are you in agreement with that? That we should try to incorporate the older players. We we, we know we, we know that cricket has changed. We know that, but there are still things that remain the same. Mentorship, yes. yes. Coaching, no. Yeah. The game has changed. Yeah. The mentorship, yes. Mm. The coaching, no. How to build our innings. Mm. The, you know, I was in Barbados for the final. Gordon Greenwich was in England, mm. right? Um, G's didn't go to the game. Bird, um, who's a good friend of mine as well. Bird, I met Bird in Legends pub after the game. Bird said, I watched about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and I come back here and said, um, I, I, Ah, and Bird told me, this is second hand, I just talked to Viv, Viv out playing golf. They wasn't watching the final. <laughs> so, um, but, but these fellas, the, the mentorship, yes, not coaching. The game has changed drastically, dramatically. Um, it has moved on from when they played. Yeah, so they can motivate you, but they can't coach. They can't. The 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 strategies and thing a little bit different from 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 then. I think Lara realized that he tried his hand at coaching in the IPL and now he's back doing commentary. Mm -hmm. it, it's a little bit different. Yeah. Do you see us going forward with Sammy as the coach? I hope not. Yeah. If we have to stick with a local with a local person, is there anybody that you feel? capable of, of taking us somewhere. In red ball cricket and in youth development, I would like to see Logie somewhere in the setup mm -hmm. because of his discipline and his commitment and his simplicity and his ease of doing business with. Mm -hmm. I would have liked to see Gus. But somewhere. years gone by, he was involved at some level of coaching. Yeah, but Gus is the kind of man who is a no-nonsense in his quiet way. Mm -hmm. he, he, he wouldn't take nonsense from you. He wouldn't, you know, there's an interview done by Viri Bolai out of Canada where Gus said, Willie he go look all 100 men for training? And the first two weeks, all they did was run and train and jump. And after two weeks, only 20 men remain. So Willie he go look? So well, now that I know who the 20 serious men are, let me start up the cricket. Gus is a stickler for that. You you show up for training on time. You put in the, 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 the full nine yards. You don't show up. Call the coach and say, well, I ain't coming today because he, 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 you know, and our lackadaisical approach doesn't sit well with somebody. But Gus is one. Mm -hmm. Gus is one who I would like to see at youth level. Mm -hmm. Shiv Chana Paul at youth level to learn how to bat. Mm -hmm. I don't think Shiv will, will cut it at, at T20 and, and white ball cricket. Um, those are some of the names that are probably um, the same boy, Johnson, out of um, 
out of Ghana. Yeah, no, yeah. Tamar Lambert out of Jamaica. I would really like to see Tamar Lambert involved in Jamaican cricket. He, I think, was about five years straight under Tamar Lambert, Jamaica, won the regional. Yeah. Yeah. People like um, Bradshaw, smart guys, right? Bradshaw to Barbados. I would like to see them involved in cricket. But Bradshaw is an economist. He, you know, he, he, he probably well employed and they just walk away. I met him over the weekend. But we didn't, we just talk about the days he, he played in Trinidad, you know. I know we don't have much time again, but um, now that Haynes and and Brown and Brown has left the scene and they have a, they're going to be put in implementing, my Bascom said there's a, some new plan system. They, system they're going to do. Do you see that working? I'll wait. I'll wait. I think it's over in the West Indies. You have to go because we are 16 different islands to look at cricket. I can't see one man going to 16 islands to watch cricket. Right. Mm. So let me see what is the thread below that. What is the structure below the, the support system for the manager? In England and so on, they have analysts involved and they have a team who go to the 18 counties and watch game and report back and keep data and statistics. And when when there was a fellow called Mo Bobat who was in charge of that, and when they collated the information, the analysts could have virtually picked the team because they had all the data on all the players. Mm. We, we reach that level of sophistication, if you want to use the word sophistication, efficiency. We don't have data banks on our players, you know. We still go and w watch them. There was a player, I won't call his name, who went, he's about 30 plus, and he went to West in his camp. And I could say, I find he looking good. The man is 30 something playing first class cricket about 10 years now. You know, I mean, that is the epitome of stupidity, yeah. you know. So that is where we are. We still ad hoc. Yeah. There's no system. Yeah. Well, Mr. Mara, we, have, we always do enjoy you know, talking about cricket. We have come to the end of um, this interview. Any closing um, comments? Yeah, I would really like to see the team do well in England to give mm -hmm. us some hope and get some young people playing cricket in Trinidad. I would really like to see Trinidad and Tobago revamp the thinking on the way forward for cricket um, and, and let us try and concentrate on what we could do best. We were at one time the winningest T20 team in the world. I would really like to see us get back into that groove of where the cricket is attractive, the players are top class, we we well represented worldwide, and we could still play for the West Indies. Mm -hmm. That's what I would like to do. I would really like to see a revamp. And Trinidad could start it. We don't have to wait. We don't have to be followers in this regard. We did it before, and we could do it again. It was a pleasure. Yeah. Oliver. Um, because we have come to the end of another edition of Saturday Sports on NCB and TV Television. We hope that you enjoyed this episode and we look forward to you joining us next week at 8 p.m. Have a blessed week ahead.